Demonstrators fighting for Cuban freedom taking to the streets in Jacksonville again this weekend. Today, a group caravan from Jacksonville Beach to downtown Jacksonville led by a truck with a sign that read SOS Cuba. Our Renata De Gregorio was there and tells us what these demonstrators are demanding from the U.S. Protesters want the U.S. to do more to help those in Cuba who are fighting for what America stands for. They also want more people to join in in the protests so that those in Cuba see that they are not fighting alone. Frio for Cuba! Frio for Cuba! For 62 years, we've been asking for food. It has been denied. For 62 years, we have been asking for medicine. It was denied. Behind each face and flag, a show of support for Cubans seeking freedom. Under the boot of communists, I was four years old when that began. You are afraid all day. My family is in Cuba. They don't have medicine. Many protesters say the U.S. is not doing enough. Just basic human rights are being violated. Jacksonville City Council member Al Ferrero filed a resolution asking the city to express solidarity with Cuban protesters. On Thursday, President Joe Biden announced sanctions on a top Cuban military official and police unit. You live in a communist country, it's not easy to, to make a, a, a little move, movement. You cannot move. Now that movement is happening, Protesters here say they must use their freedom in America to fight for those who don't have it in Cuba. Governor Ron DeSantis has called for tougher actions from the Biden administration. I'm Renata DiGregorio at The Landing, First Coast News on your side.